The Lodger, 1944, directed by John Brom, starring Merle Oberon, Laird Krieger, and George Sanders. London, 1888. As Jack the Ripper terrifies the country and butchers innocent women in the streets, a mysterious man seeks residence in the home of a family. Who is this mysterious man who only leaves the house at night? This is actually my second John Brom film on the channel. The first was 1942's The Undying Monster. This film makes no mystery about it. Mr. Slade is Jack the Ripper. The family he's renting a room from has no idea though, so the film follows them as they start to suspect him. Krieger's portrayal of the Ripper is absolutely compelling. This take on the character presented as a haunted man with a dark compulsion that must be relieved every few days no matter how risky it is. A majority of the lighting in the film is phenomenal, but it is comical how unnaturally lit Mr. Slade's face is in any scene that he's in. If you saw someone lit this way in real life, you'd immediately suspect them of something. Now, John Brom was like the Jerry Bruckheimer of his time, because like in The Undying Monster, this film also utilizes old-school forensic science, which is fascinating. Here we see the inspector matching Slade's fingerprints to Jack the Ripper's, after using some inventive resourcefulness to get it. For those seeking bloodshed, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. This is a fairly bloodless film, though Slade does have a body count. This is also notable as being one of the first films to present a scene shot from the killer's perspective. Based on a novel of the same name by Mary Bellick Lowndes, this is the third cinematic adaptation made, with a silent version in 1927 that was directed by none other than Alfred Hitchcock. Barry Lyndon, the writer of the screenplay, would go on to adapt another novel for the big screen, a little title from 1953 called War of the Worlds. Verdict recommended. I don't want to turn my channel into the John Brom Power Hour, but I'm thoroughly impressed by his work and will definitely feature more of his films in the near future. That concludes this week's review. Is there any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest? Feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.